talks between international powers in Munich on February 11 have changed almost nothing in Syria. Neither side has ceased hostilities. Russian jets continue to target civilians and regime forces are now closing in on Aleppo. German Chancellor Angela Merkel recently said she backs the idea of a no-fly zone in northern Syria. That, in the current situation, it would be helpful if there was a designated airspace in the area, a kind of no-fly zone. It's something Turkey has been long calling for. It seems that Germany's only recently lent support due to a new refugee flow from Aleppo to Turkey. The influx of refugees has put a strain on Europe, which struggled to cope with thousands of people seeking asylum. And Germany wants to limit the flow to as little as possible. The ongoing assaults on Aleppo have forced nearly 77,000 people to seek shelter in camps built along the Turkish border. Yakın dönemde bu bölgelerde olabilecek en kötü senaryoda 600 bine yakın yeni bir mülteci dalgasının Türkiye sınırlarına gelmesinin muhtemel olduğu da değerlendirilmektedir. Syrian regime forces have spent years on the back foot, but now, backed by Russian jets in the air and Iranian fighters on the ground, they're advancing on what was once the country's largest city, Aleppo. Aleppo is the most important stronghold for opposition groups, and the city could prove a turning point in Syria's civil war. Regime forces have recently seized a key corridor which cut off much of the humanitarian aid coming to opposition groups. The columnist for The Guardian, Natalie Nugared, says, Aleppo will define much of what happens next. A defeat for Syrian opposition forces in Aleppo would further empower the terror group in the region. Western strategy against Daesh has officially depended on building up local Syrian opposition ground forces. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights says during the Russian-backed regime attacks on Aleppo since the beginning of February, at least 500 people, including 23 children, were killed. The organization also says Russian warjets have carried out a staggering 320 sorties in Aleppo during three days of February. Meanwhile, Syrian YPG militants are taking advantage of Russian airstrikes and advancing to Azaz. This has alarmed Turkey, which considers the YPG the Syrian extension of the PKK and a terrorist organization. Turkish authorities repeatedly accuse YPG of cooperating with the Assad regime. Because of that, Turkish troops are shelling YPG positions in the Syrian city of Azaz. Despite calls by Turkey and international powers to stop targeting civilians on February 15, Russian jets bombed five hospitals and two schools in the north. Nearly 50 people were killed, including at least 10 children. It's not the first incident in the Syrian war that has caused outrage. And after the uncertain outcome of the talks in Munich, it will unlikely be the last.